Come on in, come on in. Yes, it's another terrific hieroglyphic, and I'm in the building making it happen in Akron. Listen, we want to tell somebody, if you're trying to promote you and your style, please give us a call at area code 330-937-2632. The number again is 330-937-2632. And you know what we do every time about this time? We're going to go out to the community and see what's up, but when we come black, we're gonna hit some of that knowledge we ain't getting in college. Y'all better feel me before they kill me, y'all. It's the Hiram Glyph. National treasure and professional bull rider, Billy Ray Thunder, brings his bull riding and rodeo experience to Akron, Ohio. Bareback riders are a dying breed in the rodeo circuits for men of color. With that being said, this unique experience and opportunity is catered to those who truly understands and appreciate the cultural experience of the black cowboy. Take note, Billy Ray Thunder is only interested in teaching those who will be determined and dedicated to the sport of bareback riding. For more information, attend a meeting Wednesday, May 11th at 6 p.m. at Macedonia Methodist Church. That's 940 McKinley Avenue, Akron, Ohio. Pastor Lorenzo Glenn, 330-572-9889. And we black. Listen, man, and you know what? It's a lot of stuff been going on. We're going to get right to it. We know this is the podcast where we break stuff down to its very last compound to give you a little better understanding for your planet. Now, listen, you guys, it is prom season. Prom season is upon us. And we will go down our timelines and we will see little Mook Mook graduating to be the grown man he's ultimately going to become. We're going to see little Shaniqua graduating to the natural, beautiful sister she will ultimately become. We're going to see these things on our timeline. The mothers are proud. The fathers are even prouder. Hey, I got somebody that did the thing, handled their business for those years, and they're about to cross the threshold of adulthood and handle and so they can handle their adult business. Some people call it adulting, okay? They're adulting, you know what I mean? So uh, listen, in all fairness, y'all, in all, in all seriousness, you know, I'm gonna be serious for a second. I've seen one of the most disturbing pics, or I'm gonna call it a fad, during this prom season. Okay, I'm seeing the lovely ladies, uh, the lovely young ladies graduating they dressed in the traditional, this is their own prom night, y'all. They dressed in their traditional prom dressing. The brothers are sharp. They're dressing in their traditional prom style. You know, when I grew up, people were wearing tux. These brothers looking like superstars. I'm talking superstar outfits with the paisley blazer jackets, all types of stuff, looking gorgeous, looking handsome and everything. And that's what it's been traditionally going through for the last few years. Well, this year, I'm starting to see some disturbing pics. I've seen multiple, on multiple accounts, these lovely young ladies and these handsome young men with AK-47s, sawed off shotguns. They taking pictures like crazy ass album covers and gangster movies. This is their prom pics that they taking to put on social media to let people know how stylish they are. So listen, we have to understand, man, this is something, something is wrong with this picture. These pictures last forever, not just in your photo album like when we grew up. This is forever in your damn social media timeline or your damn social media timeline. So when little Mook Mook about to go get the job that he's ultimately trying to go get, okay, or little Shaniqua about to uh, try to get accepted to the college he's going to go get, when the people at HR, the people, the people at the school, do they do diligence and look on the timeline, they're gonna see this damn foolishness. Because I'm, I'm here to tell you, these people are just stunting. Lil Mook Mook and Shug Shug is just stunting for the camera. This is not who they really are, but you can't tell Professor 
Smith <laughs> over there at Akron U. You can't tell Foreman uh, George over there at Gojo or wherever the hell you're trying to get your job at. You can't tell him you were just stunt or cap it. They don't know that. All they know is what's being depicted upon us in media. Media is TV. Media is newspaper. Media is, um, no, no. Media is TV. Media is videos. Media is movies. Okay? When you see Boys in the Hood, when you see the rap videos, and you see all these things, and then th those are depicted, that's how they're showing us to everybody else, okay? So when these people that's looking to hire you, looking to employ you, looking to have you go to their university, they go down your timeline and they see this, they have no choice but to assume this is who you are. Mother, father, that is not cute, okay? That is not cute. You're stopping them. You, if you're allowing them to take, and, and this is the sad part, we are the ones that's taking the pictures. Okay, what the hell? Okay, now I know, you know, some people have their homies taking pictures and stuff like that too. This is not cool, y'all. This is at an all-time alert, at an all-time high. We are looking bad. It's not sunshine on the timeline. That is definitely not that, man. So listen, uh, so when you flicking this season, flick with some, some culture, okay? If you don't want to be Afrocentric, you don't have to be Afrocentric. You can be Afro-American or African-American in your tux and your paisley and do all of that. And just take it back to last year or the year before where we was just looking handsome and beautiful. Listen, man, I can go on days and days about this situation, but I'm not. I'm about painting positive images of our people every day. And I want you, mom, I want you, dad, to continue what we're doing here at AcronHipHop.com and paint those positive images yourself. It's the Hiram Glyphics. Keep the date, Saturday, May 28th, 2022. It's the Perkins Junior High Alumni Reunion Party. This will be the event to remember with DJ Easy Money and VJ the DJ with live performances by Rare Image. Come out to the event center that's 2208 East Market Street, Akron, Ohio, and rock out all night long with some great tasting soul food while supply glass. Remember, that's $35 per person in advance and $60 per couple. And you know what? That's only $40 at the door per person. Remember, keep the date Saturday, May 28th, 2022. It's the reunion, the Perkins Junior High School Reunion Alumni Party. A lot of times, what you find with entrepreneurs, self-employed people, they actually, they, they write everything off, they take their money, they just kind of throw it in their purse, and um, they make a lot of money, but they don't claim a lot of money. And because of that, they don't, they're not eligible for a loan, and then they feel like, oh, well, they didn't give me the loan just because. No, you can't do that, that's not okay. You have to actually show income in order to be able to actually qualify for a loan. You can't show $10,000 of income on your tax returns and then go apply for a $200,000 house. It'll never happen. It's not ever going to happen. So you have to use your money wisely, use your write-offs wisely, use an accountant, pay someone to do your taxes, quit trying to use um, whatever some of those online turbo tax, do it yourself, set yourself up properly. Again, if we want to create legacies, we want to create financial freedom. It's not always about getting over on the government, thinking that we're getting over because it hinders us. We get in our own way. All right, all right, we're inside of the business, in the place to be, Appliance King, and check this out. We with the lovely Asia. Say what's up, Asia. How you doing? Now, when we say Asia, are we talking the place or the face? The face. The face is it's in always the, the face. Hey, listen, <laughs> tell somebody, man, what's going on here at the Appliance King? We are at 620 Johnson Street here in Akron, Ohio. We have amazing appliances at cheap prices. Samsung, Whirlpool, Frigidaires, you name it, we have. Hey, if your change is strange, your credit is pathetic. Can you still get it? Of course. I like that if your credit is pathetic, you can still get it. Somebody better mark that down. I'm hot right now. Hey, listen, Um, now the owner who's responsible for the Appliance King decided to bring this back to this to the community and everything. How long you guys been in business over here? 
a couple months. Couple of months, and y'all had your grand opening. Now we want to grand tell the whole city that we right here. One more time, what's the address? 620 Johnson Street, Akron, Ohio. Hi, my name's Vanessa. I'm a part of the new leadership team here at Louisiana. Uh, we are basically doing the same menu. We got whole wings, wing dings. We got our fish. Uh, we have catfish, perch, shrimp. Uh, we offer it grilled or fried. And we're doing the same sides that we always have, all homemade collard greens, mac and cheese, red beans and rice, mashed potatoes, uh, coleslaw, all the regular. We also have some fried gizzards still. Um, our, we have new operating hours. We're open during the week 11 to 7 and on Fridays and Saturdays 11 to 8, closed on Mondays as normal.